ones I see. So, Senator Booker. Thank you very much, Mr. Chairman, and thanks for the grace of Senator Ossoff for allowing me to go before him. Um, I'd love to just jump in real quick, if I may, and um, a lot has been talk about your incredible work with the Oklahoma City bombing, but I'm also aware that you have a long record of working on domestic terrorism in pretty significant ways uh, in the mid-1990s in a response to a wave of bombings and arson attacks against black churches in the South and other houses of worship. The Clinton administration formed a national task force where you and your leadership, along with others, helped to make this uh, Justice Department priority, resulting in several hundred investigations and arrests. And I, I just really appreciate the totality of your record on fighting domestic terrorism. I do just really quickly uh, just wonder, just in terms of proportionality, um, since that time till now, uh, we've seen just this rise of uh, right-wing uh, terrorist attacks in our country. In fact, since 9-11, the majority of domestic terrorist attacks have been right-wing extremist groups. The majority of those have been white supremacist groups. And I'm just hoping, and again, you're not in the position, God willing, you will be, but just the proportionality of the resources we are directing towards trying to stop, stop the scourge of domestic terrorism uh, is this something that you will look at as ter in terms of the degree of the resources of the agency? Yeah, as I say, that I think the first thing I should do um, uh, as part of the, uh, my briefings on the Capitol bombing are briefings with um, Director Ray as to where he sees the biggest threat and uh, whether the resources of the Bureau and of the Department are allocated towards uh, the biggest threat and the most uh, dangerous and direct threat. Um, we do have to be careful across the board. We, we can never, uh, you know, let, let uh, somebody sneak around uh, the end um, because we, we're not focusing, but we also have to allocate our resources towards the biggest threat. Great. And I'd like to shift back to marijuana. I was, our earlier conversation, we were talking about the systemic racism there that has, I've watched tons of friends in elite colleges not worrying at all about being arrested for marijuana while the inner city black and brown community I live into, it's a much different reality, much different set of laws applying to them. But I actually want to get to the, the, the good news, I think, in the United States of America is that red states, blue states, America, general, if you want to call those states that way, or American states are moving towards more and more legalization, medical marijuana, loosening up of laws, decriminalization. It's an amazing thing. But the federal government is out of step with that, right, as of now. And I hope to work in a bipartisan way to see if we can advance the federal government, maybe to delist the legislation, think of some restorative justice elements. Just today, New Jersey signed its first major um, uh, effort at legalization and restorative justice. But one thing I, that was done uh, by the um, Obama administration was uh, putting forward a the coal memorandum, as I'm sure you're aware, uh, but Attorney General Jeff Sessions rescinded the Cole Memorandum, which gave guidance to U.S. attorneys that the federal marijuana prohibition should not be enforced in states that have legalized marijuana in some form. Um, and so do you think that the guidance in the Cole Memorandum to deprioritize marijuana enforcement should be reinstated? Uh, um, that is, should the Justice Department respect states' decisions on marijuana policy? So I don't have every element of the Cole Memorandum in mind, but I do, do uh, remember it, and uh, I have read it. This is a question of the um, uh, prioritization of our, our resources and prosecutorial discretion. It does not seem to me a useful um, um, uh, uh, use of uh, limited uh, resources that we have to be pursuing uh, prosecutions in states that have legalized uh, and, re and that are regulating uh, the use of marijuana, either medically or otherwise. I don't think that's a useful use. I do think we need to be sure that there are no end runs around the state laws that criminal enterprises are doing. So that kind of uh, enforcement uh, uh, should be continued. But I, I don't think it's, uh, it's a good use of our resources uh, where states have already authorized. And it only confuses people, obviously, uh, within the state. So really quickly, the violence against black trans Americans is uh, unconscionable with many murders every single year. The bullying and violence against a lot of uh, trans children, um, about a, a third of LGBTQ American children report missing school because of fear, fear of violence and intimidation. Uh, is this something that you will um, uh, uh, make a priority to protect um, all children from 
uh, violence and discrimination, uh, uh, is particularly in this case uh, transgender children and uh, transgender children. And would you uh, also uh, commit to taking seriously the targeting of uh, uh, transgender adults, specifically with the trend we're seeing with the alarming numbers of murders of, of black, trans, black transgender women. These are hate crimes, and uh, it's the job of the Justice Department to stop this, uh, to find them, to enforce, and to penalize. And that's what the uh, section of the, uh, uh, the special um, litigation unit in the um, uh, Civil Rights Division uh, is intended to do. There is the Shepard um, uh, Bird um, Act, which was particularly aimed at this, and I, I think it's, fun, uh, I'm, I'm not sure whether it needs broadening, but it's clear to me that this kind of uh, hate, hate, hateful activity has to stop, and yes, we need to put resources into it. Thank you for your time. I look forward to voting for your confirmation, and I'm gonna stop here because I do not wanna make Tom Cotton mad at me. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, the remaining senators for five minutes each Senators Cotton, Ossoff, Hawley, and now Senator Whitehouse is going to make a return. Senator Cotton? Judge, I want to return to where we stopped this morning, the question of uh, racial 